Now you know the definite article in German. However, there's also an indefinite article. In English, the indefinite article is a or an. In German, it's ein for masculine and neuter nouns and eine for feminine nouns. So it's ein Bahnhof, eine Flasche, ein Problem. For the plural, there is no extra indefinite article. So, for example, the singular is eine Flasche and the plural is simply Flaschen. How do we know that Flaschen is plural, though? Listen again. Eine Flasche. Flaschen. Something changes at the end of the word. That's the plural ending. For the noun Flasche, bottle, we add an N. Flaschen. There are four other endings to mark the plural. It is a good idea to learn both the article and the plural form of each noun straight away because there is no easy rule to help you find the correct form. So, the first plural ending we've learned is N or EN, depending on the noun. Here's another example. Die Tomate. Plural, die Tomaten. Another plural ending is E. A word with this plural form is bread, das Brot. Plural, die Brote. Other nouns have the plural ending er. Do you remember the word for bicycle? Right, das Fahrrad. Plural, die Fahrräder. Listen again. Das Fahrrad. Die Fahrräder. Did you notice that the vowel sound is also a little different? Das Fahrrad. Die Fahrräder. A, E. This is called Umlaut. So, you need to watch out. Some nouns not only add an ending for the plural, they also change a vowel sound. A can change to ä. O can change to ö. And u can change to ü. There are even some nouns that only take an umlaut to mark the plural. An example is the plural of case, as in a case of beer, ein Kasten Bier. Ein Kasten, plural, zwei Kästen. A changes to ä. Kasten, Kästen. Finally, there is one more ending. This is the easiest because it's just like English. We add an S. The photo in German is das Foto. The plural of das Foto is die Fotos. The photos. Wow, that was a lot, wasn't it? Let's summarize. There are three different definite articles for the singular. Der, die, das. We only have one definite article for the plural. D. But there are two indefinite articles, ein and eine. There is no indefinite article for the plural. We just leave out the article. Nouns have to be marked for the plural with the help of an ending as well. There are five different endings, n or en, e, er, s, or no ending but a change of the vowel sound. To help you remember all these different forms, let's practice them.
you will hear the singular form. Then you have a moment to find the plural form of the noun. Remember, the plural article is always D. After a short pause, you will hear the correct answer. D flasche. D flaschen. D tomate. D tomaten. Das Brot. D Brote. Das Fahrrad. Die Fahrräder. Der Kasten. Die Kästen. Das Foto. Die Fotos. Well done. If you think you need a break, this is a good point. Maybe you would like to listen to the conversation again. If you do, try to concentrate on the articles and the plural forms of the nouns. When you're ready to go on, you can listen to the numbers training. In this unit, you have heard a lot of numbers in German. Numbers. Die Zahlen. Now we'll take a closer look at the numbers. To begin with, here are the numbers from 1 to 12. Say after me. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf, zwölf. The numbers from 13 to 19 are combinations of the numbers you've just heard with the word for ten, zehn. So, thirteen is dreizehn. Repeat after me. Dreizehn, vierzehn, fünfzehn, sechzehn, siebzehn, achtzehn, 19. You have to watch out for two numbers, 16, 16, and 17, 17. In 17, the number for 7, 7, is shortened to 7. 17. In 16, 16, the pronunciation of 6, 6 is slightly different. Compare. Sex. Sechzehn. Now let's turn to the higher numbers. Twenty. Zwanzig. Thirty. Dreißig. Forty. Vierzig. Fifty. Fünfzig. Sixty. Sechzig. Seventy, siebzig, eighty, achtzig, ninety, neunzig, one hundred, einhundert. Now we'll turn to the numbers in between. For example, twenty-one. In German, we begin with the second digit. We say ein und zwanzig. Literally, that's 1 and 20. Here are the numbers from 21 to 30. Listen and repeat. Ein und zwanzig. Zwei und zwanzig. Drei und zwanzig. Vier und zwanzig. Fünf und zwanzig. Sechs und zwanzig. Sieben und zwanzig. 28, 29, 30. Maybe at this point you'd like to turn back and listen to all the numbers again. If you think you know them quite well already, then you can practice them with the help of this little training. All you need to know are the words for plus, plus, 
and minus. Minus. You will hear a simple arithmetic task, such as 1 plus 3. Then you have a moment to give the answer in German. After a short pause, you'll hear the correct answer. Have fun! 1 plus 5 6 3 plus 4 7 7 minus 2 5 6 plus 9 15 21 plus 5 26 13 plus 2 15 18 minus 4 14 30 minus 10 20 25 plus 6 31 50 plus 50 100 Very good. Sehr gut. Would you like to know if Philip's party was a success? Then listen to the next unit.